to take otoliths from our lake trout and actually all species we take otoliths from uh, on a research vessel we cut through the top of the head um, we know the spot based on where the scales end uh, basically right at the back of the head it can be difficult to see but on this fish the spot is actually right here and sometimes you can tell too by um, how soft or hard the flesh is. The top of the head is more solid, behind the fleshy part is, so part is softer. And when you move the knife around, you can actually see um, where the softer flesh meets the back of the head. And sometimes when you slide the knife, it just tends to catch right at the right spot. So once you have the spot, you just cut forward at approximately a 45 degree angle, and the cut will actually end up right around the back of the mouth somewhere. Um, one of the keys with this is using a good knife. Um, serrated knives work best for this. We use Dexter Tiger Edge knives. So it's an 8 inch serrated blade and they work really great. Um, we've used these knives for years and um, they hold their edge really well. So you just find that spot, slice forward at a 45 degree angle. Usually I'll pop the head over the lower jaw to open up the space. And the otoliths are located in a pocket on either side of the brain. So this is a brain right here cut in half. And there's a groove that each of the otoliths will be in. So it'll be one straight down from here and one in here. And usually you don't see it. Sometimes um, you can pull the brain aside if you want. Um, for this, maybe I'll see if I can pull it. And I don't know how close the video will work. We'll see if we can see an otolith. And it's right there. So that's one. And the other one will be on the other side. And if there's extra flesh on them, sometimes you just rub them on the gut glove to clean them off. Correction. 414. So, next fish, same thing. Find the spot where the scales end right at the back of the head. Forward at a 45 degree angle. Flip the top of the head over. One otolith there. Another otolith there. Clean them up. Smaller fish, same thing. Scales end right there. At this point too, if we're extracting cold wire tags from these fish, you can just cut the end of the, or pull the end of the head off too, and that will go in the bag for later cold wire tag extraction. Processing the fish will pass them to the other person with the scale envelopes. Back. 